Welcome back to art. I am excited to create a plaster mask today. Um, there's a few different types of masks you can create. You can leave the eyes open, the nose open, if you want to wear this. Um, it's your choice. So we're going to start with this Plaster of Paris uh, strips. These are strips from Plaster of Paris. And what we need to do is cut these into smaller strips so that we can put them on our mask mold. And here I folded it in half just for more efficient cutting, cutting multiple strips at once if you fold it in half. And next, we're gonna use Vaseline on our face mold. This Vaseline will prevent the mask from sticking onto the mold so you can remove your mask. The more Vaseline you put on, the easier it's gonna be to take off the mask when it's dry. So cover the entire mask and you're going to take these strips and dip them into water and remove the excess water with your fingers. As you can see, I'm just placing these strips onto the mask mold and smoothing it down so that it fits to the form. Just dip these strips into water, cut them into the right size, and smooth them down so they are conformed to the mask mold. Now I want to add some ears to my mask, so I'm going to use this leftover box, food box, and I'm going to draw on it some huge gigantic ears. You can add other details you want, and I'm going to be plastering this ear on using these strips. So I'm going to fold the bottom and create a tab and then I'm going to put a piece of a strip of plaster over that tab to secure it tightly on the mask. And I'm going to use several strips of plaster to secure this on. And as you can see, I'm resting the edge of my ear on the edge of this water container. So find something you can prop whatever you're adding, prop it on something else so it's not falling down or falling off. Rest the attachment on a prop. I also used a marker lid to rest this ear on too. Strengthen your attachment with many, many strips. On to the second one and again I'm trying to secure this so that it's very strong. I did several layers of these plaster strips and you can smooth them out with your fingers by just applying that pressure and pulling them between your fingers and create a smoother texture. If you want a very smooth mask you can rub these plaster of Paris strips until they have a smooth texture. You can see the bumpy texture where I didn't smooth it out. And I did several layers of plaster strips, many layers, at least three layers on my mask so that it's nice and strong. If you keep smoothing out your strip like that, it will be easier. So use your fingers to smooth these strips for soft skin effect. If you want your mask to look like it has soft skin, use your fingers to smooth it. Just spend some time preparing the strips and softening them, and then using your finger to soften it the way you would clay. Now let it dry at least a day, maybe a few days. Next time, I'm taking my mask out of the form and the more Vaseline you use, the easier it is to remove your mask from the form. 
can try to smooth out the edges. Keep this in mind when you're putting your strips on that the edges are going to be exactly how you place your strips. I'm going to write my name and the name of my teacher, the beginning letter and the group. I left holes for the nose and the eyes and it's up to you how you want to make your plaster mask. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.